right, passing the pet cemetery here. <laughs> scary. I think Stephen King passed that place and got the idea for wrote that book. Anyway, we're coming up to the AT. Right in front of us, that big beast is Scaticoke Mountain, about 1,400 feet. Straddles Connecticut and New York, and uh, it's a good climb, about a thousand feet. We're coming up to Bulls Bridge, which has uh, been there a few hundred years. George Washington crossed it on his horse, and it is one of only two covered bridges left in Connecticut that you can drive over. It's pretty cool. By the way, hikers, this place, the Bulls Bridge Market, is really hiker friendly. Hike down here uh, from the trail and get some snacks and some small resupply. It's an old bridge, and there's people walking across. There's some great rapids under here from a hydroelectric dam. And uh, my buddies here, they work up at this kiosk here. This goes to the AT. Uh, you'll see it in a second after the second bridge. There you go. So that is one of our little spots where a lot of hikers come through on that shortcut to get to that market. I'm gonna get to the trailhead in a second. Turning on Scaticoke Road is named after the Native American tribe. A oh, good amount of cars here. Definitely a good day for a hike. Trail comes in over here. We are right on the New York, Connecticut line here. We're actually in Connecticut, but then the trail goes into New York for, yeah, about a mile and a half. And then it comes um, back into Connecticut, comes back across to the east. Wow, yeah, it's crowded today. There's a great view up there, so I think we're going to be sharing it. But there you go, there's your white blazes, and uh, I've been missing those. I'll get my, uh, try my new trail runners now, I'll put those on, because uh, I didn't want to try the zero drop on a week or longer section hike and not like them. We will see how they do on this, it's a good climb. All right, these are my Ultra Lone Peak 4s. Uh, with the zero drop, I got them what like uh for 80 bucks something like that uh they have a 4.5 now so they're not that expensive anymore um but definitely want to try the zero drop on some real hills uh, like that one back there which you probably can't see all right my friend is going to be here soon and uh i'll check in up the trail oh wait there's the Just a nice bro. All right, I wanted to show this. This is all these cool glacial erratics. But in case you don't know what that is, glaciers drag these big rocks across the landscape and then as it receded, it left all of them. So you have some really cool, very large rocks. And uh, that's one of my favorite spots of the climb. Okay. 
Gonna wait for my buddy, Lisa. All right, getting up here to the top of Scottacoke Mountain. There's a really awesome view up there, which we're gonna go to. And you can see the whole, you can see the 10 mile hill and bits of the trail farther into New York. We are now in the, over the New York border. I forgot to mark where it crosses. But I'll do it on the way back. And we're gonna go to where it crosses back over. But we're almost at the top. All right, we are up here on Scattercook. This is the southern view. That's 10 mile hill right there. The trail goes over there. The 10 mile campsite's down there. Then it goes back that way into New York. Um, well, actually we're in New York. Um, but one of my favorite views. And uh, I'm up here with my friend Lisa from the AMC. Hi. Hi. And uh, it's planning to do some trail work, but so far it looks good. So I guess the section maintainer has been through here. We're gonna go a little farther, I think, to where it goes back into Connecticut. Um, but yeah. This yeah, is baby. Awesome. The peak back there it goes up a little higher. Um, so we're going to head that way and uh, check in from the state line. We are on the like a northern little point on Scattercoke here. And if you can, I'm trying to zoom in, I can't zoom in anymore, but back there in the middle, you can see light blue, some of the peaks of the Catskills. Um, maybe you can see it. I, can, I think I can kind of see it. But gonna go down still in New York and just go down the state line and turn around cool gunfire <laughs> all right we are here where the trail comes back into Connecticut um, on Scottacoke Mountain and it's about three miles I guess so we're gonna turn around and um, cruise back real quick but uh, yeah that's good big shot all right walking into uh, we're heading west as you can tell from the sun over there. Look at this beautiful view. I almost never see this because I'm always out here in the summer and we're looking farther into New York now. And uh, up here near where that first view is that you saw before, which we'll see again, is where our buddy Brian saw a six foot rattlesnake. I never see him. I only got rattled that one time and I didn't even see it. And I've been talking about wanting to see one for forever. I saw six foot racer snakes and black snakes and garter snakes and uh, milk snakes. And he was coming up to meet me at a campsite. And sure enough, Brian got to see one. <laughs> so I like to tease him about that. One of these days I'll see one and I'll wish I hadn't. Okay, so. Oh, this is where Ryan saw the snake, right? Like right here. And, uh, okay, so we're coming back to that view. And then, I don't know. I don't I might film a little more after that, but I think, uh, I think I've pretty much gotten all the good stuff to see. But this is pretty awesome. There's a shooting range down there in case you hear gunshots and stuff. But yeah, look at this. This, uh, this is why I'm out here, to take care of it and to enjoy it. Look at that. What, what is not to be enjoyed about that? That's Connecticut. That's New York. Line is pretty much right between those two mountains. That one's in New York, that one's in Connecticut. So, uh, just the last shot of coming down because it's so awesome, this view. Uh, so there's like another, I don't know, mile, maybe a little less. 